Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do something a little bit different. I got this idea from the YouTuber Kristen Leo. Um, she is a YouTuber who does videos on uh, stuff like ethics, um, fast fashion, environmentalism, and things like that. So she did the global footprint or the ecological footprint um, test and I am going to do the same thing for you guys and we're going to find out how many planets we need if everybody lives like me. So as you see Earth Overshoot Day 2019 was July 29th and we are well past that so yeah. Let's find out when my personal overshoot day is. Take the first step. Plop. How often do you eat animal-based products? Never. That is accurate. I never eat beef or lamb. Lamb is terrible. Pork. Never. Poultry. Never. Fish or shellfish. Never. Eggs, cheese, and or dairy. Never. Next. How much of the food that you eat is unprocessed, unpackaged, or locally grown? Um, probably not very much at all. <laughs> How much of your diet is fresh unpackaged foods? 10% because I'm probably giving myself more than I actually eat that is fresh and unpackaged because at this point in time, I do not do a very good job at doing that. How much of your diet is locally grown or produced? Probably 10% again for the same reasons. I'm going to try to work on that. That is something I'm going to do because that's just kind of ridiculous. So 20. Which housing type best describes your home? Multi-story apartment. What material is your house constructed with? Brick or concrete? That is true. How many people live in your household? Two. That's me and my husband. Let's see if I can get this to go up one more. 400 square feet. Do you have electricity in your home? Yes. How energy efficient is your home? Uh, average modern appliances, climate controls. No. Below average. Yes. Because, well, inefficient lighting, like, I up updated the, the light bulbs and stuff, but other than that, I don't know. And then all of our appliances, I think, are pretty much garbage because we don't get to pick them. And I know most of them are not Energy Star rated, if not all of them are not, which is terrible because you'd think that this place would be like, yeah, we need to save energy and save money on energy, but no, they don't give us the stuff that's actually rated for that stuff. Okay, but anyway. What percentage of your home's electricity comes from renewable sources? I actually looked this up and trying to see of how much my building actually uses because I don't pay the electric bill so I can't determine what's renewable or not. So, But I could not find any information about my building using any renewable sources whatsoever for electric electricity. So I am assuming it's 0%, although I know Seattle City Light does offer renewable um, sources and stuff and programs, but I don't think my building opts into it. And that is something that I am going to look into. Compared to your neighbors, how much trash do you generate? Wait. Yeah, okay. How much trash do you generate? Um, I don't know. Not much underwear and socks. What comes closest to your monthly new clothing, footwear, and or sporting goods purchases? Not much underwear and socks. 
shirts, underwear, socks, average. Mm. Yeah, it's probably average. How often do you purchase new household appliances? Um, me personally, I don't. But I know my building only replaces brick appliances as needed, but is that really me? I don't know. Never. I don't purchase major appliances from my home. Does that include? No, I guess it doesn't. I'm gonna say never or rarely because I don't purchase major appliances for my home. Um, somebody else does. <laughs> so I don't know what that would actually do. How often do you purchase new electronics and gadgets? Occasionally, I replace out of date models and occasionally buy a new gadget. What's I own many of the newest gadgets on the market. I always have the latest and greatest gadgets. Hmm, I do own a lot of new stuff but I don't always I'm gonna say occasionally because I do replace out of date stuff and I occasionally buy a new gadget but I would probably do that much more frequently if I could afford it because I love tech books magazines and newspapers let's see very often I get a daily newspaper and buy books or magazines several times a week yeah no Often, I often get a newspaper and buy books or magazines every week or two. That seems likely. Occasionally, I read some news online and subscribe to a couple of magazines or newspapers. I read most of the news online, borrow many of the books and magazines I read. Yeah, no. Um, I'm going to go with often. Because I like books and I recently got back into getting magazines and I kind of regret it. So gonna have to cancel those subscriptions when the time comes so I don't have to deal with that anymore what comes closest to your annual new household furnishings purchase not much I haven't decorated in years maybe just new towels and sheets new bedding and a lamp or table just to spruce things up a couch or a new bedroom set I like to change it up I completely refurnish my living room it's an annual ritual no but I think that's my mom I am probably a not much person. I don't redecorate a whole lot. How much do you recycle? No, I can't. It's impossible to recycle all paper. If I could, I would. I would say most. Plastic, same. Same. So I probably generate about the same. People in my my neighbors don't really generate a lot of trash unless they're moving, so I don't really know. How far do you travel by car or motorcycle a week? If you only walk or bicycle, choose zero both walking and bicycling, reduce your footprint and improve your well being. Yes. Zero because I do not have a car and I do not have a motorcycle. I haven't for six years how far do you travel on public transportation each week uh, 10 miles seems about accurate how far do you travel each week by train uh, I don't I don't really take the light rail unless I absolutely need to and it's very rare how far do you travel each week by bus? Um, no, nope. probably 10. 10 miles, yeah. That seems about accurate. Even though I don't really take the bus that often right now, I pretty much stick to places I can walk right now and then I bus if I and if I have something to do that I need to go far away for, like next week, I will have one thing that I will definitely need to take the bus for, because otherwise it'll take me an hour to walk, and I don't feel like walking an hour. How far? 10 miles. That is correct. How many hours do you fly each year? Um, lately, I've only been taking one trip 
a year by plane, and it is about 12 hours. Um, yeah, 12 hours, because this year I flew from Seattle to Florida, and then other years I fly from Seattle to Ohio and back, and so that equals about 12 hours to and from. And I only go once a year. I try to limit my trips mostly because I can't afford it. Um, but this year my trip was actually paid for by school. But, you know, I'm still not going to fly again because flying and making trips takes a lot out of me. Ugh. Your personal earth overshoot day is july 5th if everybody lived like you earth overshoot day would be on this day this means by this date we would have used as much from nature as earth can renew in the entire year in 2018 earth overshoot day for humanity is august 1st if everyone lived like you you would need two earths Oof. see details ouch by land type Built upland, 0.1 global hectares. Mm. Forest products, 0.4 global hectares. Cropland, 0.8. Grazing land, zero. Fishing grounds, zero. Carbon footprint, 1.9 global hectares. Food, 0.6. Shelter, 0.6. Mobility, 0.5. Goods, one. Services, 0.6. Let's see. A global hectare is a biologically productive hectare with world average productivity. A hectare is 10,000 square meters or about 2.5 acres. Currently, our planet has about 1.7 global hectares available per person. That's all the Earth's productive area divided by number of people alive today. And mine is 3.3. I use well more than my share of the earth. My carbon footprint is 5.5. Carbon footprint, CO2 emissions in tons per year, 5.5. 57% of your total ecolog ecological footprint, 57%. Ouch. Explore solutions. City. With 70 to 80 percent of the world's population expected to live in cities by 2050, smart urban planning and development strategies are crucial to managing our resources. Visit your city's website and challenge your city leaders to support sustainability policies. Noted. Energy, renewable energy is a direct path to reducing your ecological footprint and addressing climate change. Can you take transit, bicycle, or walk instead of driving solo at least once a month, once a week? I actually do not drive solo ever. And I take transit 100% of the time when I do go, if I have to go farther than I can walk. Food, diet, and cutting food waste are powerful sustainability levers. Can you be a smarter shopper and reduce food waste? Can you try a new vegetarian recipe once a month? Once a week? Yes. I'm actually going to challenge myself to eat more local and unpackaged stuff. Um, population... Addressing population size is essential to creating a sustainable future for all within our planet's ecological budget. You can choose the size of your family to affect our long-term footprint, support women's rights, and access to family planning. I do support those things. <laughs> planet. Protecting and regenerating the natural ecosystems that our well-being depends on is essential to living in balance with the earth. What can you do at home, at work, and in your community to nurture nature? I have a plant. It's a succulent, and I've had it since earth day this year and that is the longest i have ever had a plant because for some reason i killed them all so thank you for watching this video if you liked it give a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you're gonna try it i have, will have a link below for you 
and you can tell me what your footprint is, how many earths you require, and we can have a little chat about it. Um, also check out Kristen Leo's content. She is really cool and informative and she's very educational. Um, if you want more environmental stuff from me, let me know and I will consider putting that up. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.